In today's video, we are going to create this animation in PowerPoint to reveal any text we want in our presentations with one click. Let's get started! Hello everyone, Alan VC here sharing another idea for one-click text reveals in PowerPoint. This is video number 6, and if you want to explore the rest of ideas we have shared here, make sure you click the link you will find in the first comment below this video. Today, besides the animation idea to reveal your text, I want to show you an easy way to make texts appear and disappear with less effort. So stick around, as this simple trick will help you cut the time you spend designing your presentations. Enough talking, let's start doing. So as always, we are gonna delete the default content from our brand new PowerPoint presentation. And the first shape we are gonna add to our slide is this partial circle. Let's make it bigger, and now we are gonna grab this yellow bubble to create a quarter circle. Let's copy and paste, and we are gonna rotate this second shape to get a half circle. Select everything, copy and paste, and now we have a full circle perfectly divided into four pieces. Now we are gonna add some icons, so go to Insert, Icons, and we are gonna use this one, this one, this one will be okay, and this one is fine. So click on insert and let's change their sizes. Okay, I think 0.5 will be okay. Let's click on the next one and change the size once again. We're just missing two more icons, so let's see. Done. Next, we need to place every icon in its place inside the circle. I'm doing this with no particular order in mind, but I recommend you to do it in the order you will want each text to show up. So the icon in the top right corner corresponds with the first text, the second in the top left corner belongs to the second text, and so on. Now we're gonna change the color of the icons, so let's make them white. And the next step will be to group everything and rotate the circle about 90 degrees to adjust the position of each icon. We basically want the icons to be aligned with the text they help us to illustrate, so let's move them like this. Rotate the circle once again and do the exact same thing with the second icon. Great. We are gonna do the same with the third one. Let's see. Awesome, and now the last one. Okay, perfect. Now let's move the circle over here. Let's place it in the middle of the slide. And we are gonna add a rectangle like this. Let's move it over here to cover these two icons. And now we're gonna add one more circle. We're gonna place this one here. Let's make it a little smaller. And now it's time to align everything to center and middle. Next, we are gonna change the color of the circle. And now look at this. While having the circle selected, hold shift, click on the rectangle, go to merge inside the shape format menu, and click on union. Remove the outline, and let's add a shadow. This one is okay. So now we're gonna start adding some text, so let's see. Ah, 
I will change the font type. Okay. Now we are going to duplicate this text. Number three. Number four. Now let's add a small rectangle here to separate these titles from their descriptions. Let's make sure the rectangle is aligned to the middle using the circle as our reference. And now let's add the descriptions. Okay, let's duplicate. Okay. Time to add animations, so click on the circle, go to animations, add animation, spin. Open the animation pane, go to effect options and change the amount to quarter spin. Click OK. Now change duration to 1.5 seconds. And now we're gonna animate our titles. This first title will disappear as soon as the circle rotates for the first time. So click on it, add animation, disappear. Change the start to with previous. Now as soon as the first title disappears, the second one will show up. So click on it, add animation, fade in. Change the start to with previous and duration to 1.5 so it matches the spin of our circle. Let's click on the circle once again to add another spin animation. Change the amount to quarter spin. Click OK. Duration will be 1.5. And now title number 2 will disappear. With previews. And title number 3 will show up. With previous as well. Duration will be 1.5. And we need to add a final spin animation to our circle. Again, quarter spin. Click OK. But we're not gonna change the duration this time. Title number 3 will disappear. With previews. And number 4 will show up. Um... OK, with previous as well. Let's change duration to 1.5. Now select all titles. Go to Home, Arrange, Align, Align Center. Arrange, Align, Align Middle. Now click on the circle to use it as a reference. Arrange, Align Middle. Done. It's time to work with the descriptions now, but here is where I want to show you that simple trick I was mentioning at the beginning of the video. As you can see, we have added appear and disappear animations to our titles, so they show up gradually during the slideshow, but we can get the exact same result with less effort, simply by adding the slides background color to our text boxes. Let me show you. Select all the descriptions. Go to Shape Fill and assign the same background color of your slide to the text boxes selected. Now, the first description doesn't need any animation as it will show up as soon as we get to this slide during the slideshow. So, select the rest of the text boxes, go to Animations, Fade In, Change to Start to with Previous. And now it's time to move each animation to its corresponding place. 
So the second description will show up with the second title, third one with the third title, and we don't even need to move the last one. Now right click on every text box and bring it to the front. And finally, we just need to align everything to center and middle. Let's use our circle as a reference once again. Align middle. And now it's time to look at the result. As you can see, every description that shows up covers the previous one thanks to the background color we have added to their text boxes. In this way, we get the exact same behavior we have on our titles with less effort, as we don't need to add any disappearing animations. And that would do it for this video guys, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon to get a notification whenever I submit a new video, take care and see you next time.